Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Montana Buck. Welcome to my little beauty corner. In today's video, I am just going to show you guys how I created this look right here. Um, we went for like very glowy skin and just a little bit of a smoky eye and neutral lips with a bit of gloss. And today was really fun. Me and my mom went on a walk together to the store and the sun was shining, the birds were chirping. I felt like I was in a movie. It was so peaceful and relaxing and we finished our walk. The sun started to go down a little bit so I thought I'd just sit here and film a tutorial for you guys. So if you're interested in how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. Starting with a fresh clean base with no makeup on the skin, I'm picking up these Equate makeup wipes. They're just the like uh, compared to the Neutrogena facial cleansing rem makeup removing wipes. I'm just using these wipes to remove any excess dirt or oil that may have collected in my sleep. And then moving straight on to eyebrows. This is the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Just going to snap those on really quick and we can move on to the rest of the face. Next, I'm picking up my Rosebud Salve. This has been my favorite way to moisturize my lips. I also find that it helps from foundation being built up while we're doing our makeup. Now that our lips are moisturized, we can move on to eyes. This is my favorite concealer at the moment, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I'm just using this product to cover up any veins or darkness on the eye. This is also used as an eyeshadow primer to help prepare us for our eyeshadows. Next, I'm picking up my Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This is actually the first time I've ever used it in this particular video, and I really love how it looks. The only place that I didn't prefer the look was over my top lip. I found that it kind of made my top lip look a little bit greasy, and I wasn't a huge fan of that, but everywhere else on the skin, it looks nice. So now that we've got our skin prepared for foundation, I'm picking up my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush and my True Match Foundation with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I'm just spraying that Fix Plus onto the brush and dotting the foundation onto my skin. The reason why I like to use Fix Plus in my foundation when blending is because I find that it really, really helps the foundation to look like skin. It helps the foundation not to so much set on top of the skin, but to really mesh and blend in with your pores and the texture of your skin, and it looks so, so, so natural. So I, I really can't live without my Fix Plus at this point. It's become a major staple in my makeup process. So just using that brush, I'm blending the foundation all over my skin, and we will be able to move on to concealer again. This is the same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This time I'm just using it to cover up the darkness under my eyes. So this is just gonna leave us brighter, more refreshed, a little bit more awake. And this concealer is great because it really doesn't crease under my eyes and it doesn't dry out my under eye either, which is really nice. There's a lot of concealers out there that make me dry and I end up having to use thicker, more rich eye creams. So this is a nice adjustment for me. I'm also applying this under my chin and on the tip of my nose for a little extra coverage. Quickly moving on to the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm picking up one of my Morphe brushes and I'm just kind of pouncing this product underneath the eye to set the concealer and lock it in place all day long. This powder is awesome for that and it also is a little bit of a full coverage powder so it's gonna add a little bit more coverage on top of your concealer. Picking up another concealer here, this is the LA Girl Cosmetics Pro HD Concealer. I'm using it in a very dark shade. This is called Toast, and I'm going to be using this to sort of bronze and contour. I really, really love this product because it blends out so easily. It's like a no-mistake product. You could use a little bit of it or a lot of it, and it's still going to blend out beautifully, and it looks so natural. Again, it looks so much like skin it's not powdery it's not like super creamy or thick it's just wonderful and it, it's oh i cannot tell you how good it blends like do you see that right now i'm obsessed with this and it's only five bucks i've been using this for a couple of months now and i can't get enough of it i'm almost out of the tube that i'm using right now that you see me using in this video so we will be buying more asap this is my Too faced bronzer 
in the dark chocolate soleil version they also have a light chocolate but i wanted to go a little more intense this time so i'm just picking up one of my eco tools brushes from target and just blending that over and on top of the toast concealer that we just applied so this is just deepening and darkening our bronze look and I mean, you don't really have to do this step, but I like to just because I like my contour and bronzer to be a little more intensified, and I really like to look tan and glowy right now. That's really what I'm into, so I'm just doubling up on these products, taking it along the nose as well. This is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. This is such a cool product, you guys. Um, picking up my Morphe contouring sponge, I'm just going to carve out my my bronzer. This is going to clean up any bronzer that we may have brought a little bit too low on the face and it's going to sharpen things up and really give you nice structure on your jawline. Um, we're going to let that bake for a little bit as well as on the sides of the nose. Now this is the Becca Cosmetics Highlight and Champagne Pop. As you can see she is broken but I love, love, love this highlighter. So I still use it anyways. I just wet my beauty blender a little bit and use the sponge to pounce it into the highlights of my cheekbones just to add some light and some luminosity to the skin. I love that glowy look. Ooh, girl. <laughs> Above the eyebrow as well because I don't think that it looks very flattering to just be beaming from the cheekbone. I want to make it look even and structured with symmetry and evenly distributed. So I take it on my nose and above the brow as well. Now that we are glowing to God, we are going to pick back up that Eco Tools brush from Target and just buff away that bakage. Um, this is a great powder. My only complaint is that it does have flashback if you're using flash photography, so keep that in mind if you are taking photos. Moving on to eyes, this is my most loved palette right now, the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe, and I'm just going to be choosing this bright and light highlight shade here, picking up my Sigma E45 Taper Blending Brush. I'm using this brush to reach up into that high point in the arch of my brow. This color is just going to really... Um, add light to my eyes and to bring the brows forward. It's just a beautiful glowy look. Also kind of matches up with our cheekbones as well. Now going in with this more tan beige shade on a big fluffy brush, I'm just not really being too careful with this shade as I'm just using it as a transition. So all the way from outer corner to inner corner using circular buffing motions and going back and forth, just blending that color out to the way you want it to be. I'm going to be picking up this other tan shade. It's got a little bit more of an orangey consistency to it. And I'm just targeting this color on the outer corner of the eye to add some dimension to these brown shades. Now you guys are going to see me going back and forth between a couple different brushes when applying these brown shades. As you can see now I'm using a super fluffy brush yet applying the colors with a smaller more dense fluffy brush. So picking up this rosy brown shade and targeting it into the outer corner of the eye only, you can see I'm applying it with that smaller, dense, fluffy brush, and then you'll see me go in with an even fluffier brush, like right now, just to really, really buff and blend out those shades together. No need to rush the blending process. In the end, it's all going to come together beautifully. Now picking up my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, I'm going to use this white eyeliner on my lower waterline to really open my eyes. This is going to help us make make <laughs> help make us look more awake as you can see this before and after and go ahead and apply that on the other eye as well. I'm using a sponge to kind of pull my eye down so I don't use my fingers. I don't want to remove any of the concealer that we previously applied. So picking back up my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going in with this gorgeous cranberry shade and I'm just smoking out my lower lash line with the Sigma E25 blending brush. I absolutely adore this brush for smoking out my lower lash line. It's literally the only one I use. Going in with this NYX slide-on pencil 
in the shade black, I'm going to be tight lining my lashes. So applying this to the upper waterline of my eye, this is just going to help my lashes to look more full, as you can see, without it as opposed to with it, it definitely adds a little bit of a lifting effect as well and makes your eyes look more dramatic. So doing that on both eyes, I'm also just gonna sharpen it up a bit because I want to take the eyeliner on top of the lash line as well. <laughs> So um, make sure that your pencil is nice and sharp so you don't get like a thick smudgy line. We want to keep this nice and thin and close to the lash line. This eyeliner is also preparing us for when we go in later with our false lashes. It's going to help the band of the lash to really blend in nicely with your natural lashes. So it doesn't actually look like you're wearing fake lashes. They're going to blend seamlessly. Moving on to some mascara. This is my Voluminous Million Lash Mascara by L'Oreal. I've been using this mascara for years now. It's like my number one favorite mascara. I'm just using this on the lashes, of course, to, again, prepare us for our falsies. My lashes are actually a little bit of like a light brown shade, so I like to use this just to essentially make them look black and look darker so that they blend in with the falsies better later on. Um, just really taking my time to separate the lashes and put them in place the way that I like them to be and taking the mascara down on the lower lash line as well. This really deepens and darkens the eye look for me. If I decide not to go with mascara on the bottom lash line, it's definitely not the same. Picking up this pigment in the shade Vanilla by MAC Cosmetics, I'm just spraying a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush to apply this pigment because it's really going to help that white... Um, become super bright and more intense so you could definitely do this without using the fix plus but this is just my preference um, as you can see it really brightens and opens the eyes so I love this look I really try not to skip this step with really any makeup look that I do ever <laughs> it's definitely a staple step and I love the way that it brightens and opens the eyes up so I'm just applying this on both sides of the eye Ta-da! Lash time, girl. We're going to stick these lashes on really quick. I'm just using these lashes by Ilure. These are the Mink Effect Opulent Lashes. These are currently my favorite lashes. I actually recently went over to Ulta and purchased a three-pack because I love how natural looking they are. They're super wispy and flirty, but not too overdramatic. Like, these are my perfect everyday lashes. It's going to take me a little sippy sip. Um, water is definitely super important when it comes to my skin. I want to stay hydrated. Right before moving on to blush. This is a blush by Chanel Beauty. This is the O2 Rose Bronze Blush. I purchased this as a recommendation from one of the ladies at the Chanel counter that I go to see occasionally. She's like my favorite lady and we always talk about makeup and have us a little fun time when I come to shop. So she recommended this for me and so I purchased it and I really love it. It looks nice and natural on the skin. It's sweet and very girly. Next is lips. I'm going in with my very trusted and loved NYX a uh, suede matte lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. The reason why I love this uh, lip liner is because it goes with so many different nude-based lipsticks that I have, whether it's a pinky nude, uh, maybe more of a chestnut nude, or a reddish mauve tone nude. This goes perfectly with every single one of those tones. This is like the second or third one that I've bought because I love it so, so much. Now you just see me going through a couple of my lippies, trying to figure out what I want. And I guess we decided on the Aveda Nourishment Gloss. This is a really fun gloss because it's got really pretty reflex in it. And I think this is in the shade Rose Pearl or Pearl Rose. Moving on to Setting Spray. I'm giving myself another spritz of the MAC Fix Plus just to set and lock in everything that we have done. Dabbing it out with a little bit of my beauty sponge just to make everything flat and mesh well. And we're done. Alrighty guys, so I've got my hair clipped in. Um, I did though decide that I don't really like this glossy lip with this eye look right now. Um, I'm kind of feeling something a little bit more nude. So instead, we're going to go ahead and wipe the gloss off and I'm going to apply this lipstick here by MAC Cosmetics. This is the shade Yash. Looks like this.
Okay, I like that much better, but I think what I do want to do is, is go over the lipstick with another gloss. So we'll just do that really quick. I'm just going back in with my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Snow Day. Just mostly in the center to give us that little shine right there that I love. Alrighty, so that completes this entire makeup look. We did our skin, our eyes, our hair. Um, I think the only thing now that we need is like a little spritz of parfumies. That was way too much. What else is new? I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time today to watch my video and spend some time with me. I appreciate it more than you could even know. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Alright guys, love you. Bye.